Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. Now, before I get into this video, which is going to be reviewing the filter you see in front of you, I want to quickly say I have ordered my brand new tank, 250 litres. It should be coming, uh, when this video comes up, comes out, it should be coming uh, about five, four days. Something like that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm not going to have to look at this hopefully tank anymore. And then there'll be a whole uh, lot of new videos. I'll be going over a lot of stuff that's in the new tank. I also have an interesting discussion video I hope you guys really like. So yeah, I'm, re I'm really looking forward to that. So yeah, I hope you I hope you are too. Now let's get on with this review. So, uh, this is a filter that I've had for quite a while now. It was actually originally supposed to be for an old tank, but then I just got rid of the old tank. And got this new tank and it came with a filter. So I've not had too much of a new for it. I have tried it out a few times though. To see if it was any good, to see if I could recommend it. I've got to say though, it's for its size, it's really, really a very powerful little filter. Uh, it's recommended for about a 50 litre tank, but I honestly believe you could use it and it's almost dull that and it should be okay. Like it's a very, very powerful filter. I'll get some footage of in a minute showing showing how powerful it can be when it's in a tank. Because it is quite an impressive impressive little thing. So yeah, let's just quickly go over it. I'll quickly just show it off. So yeah, this is basically the way you'd place it. You'd have the this thing uh, pointing down. And then you can just adjust where the flow is going to be coming out of up here. If we just uh, look inside, give me one second. Okay, that didn't take me more than 29 minutes. So, let's move on. Right, so this is just basic. It's very basic inside. It's got the media in these little containers here and here. It's got a sponge here and another one inside the actual end bit here. So yeah, it's a very basic inside, but really what it does well it's the power output it has. Like, like I said, for such a small little filter, the power output it has is unbelievable. So, yeah, like I say, I'll be showing that soon. So, yeah, uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it for this first filter. It will work in, I'd, like, in my personal opinion, from a 50 litre to a tank this size, like 125 litres, this thing will probably be okay. Like if you're going for 125, it might need changing a bit more often. Like maybe once a week rather than every, and once every other week. But yeah, still a very powerful little video. I'm just going to quickly get some footage up now of it actually in the tank to show you. And then I'm going to move on to another filter for much larger tanks. So yeah, we'll get on to that in a second. Be on me. So, this is why I'm heated. For the size of it, it's a fairly decent powered filter. And that's cleaning all kinds of crap from this aquarium. Oh, it's, it's, such a, it's such a good little filter. I really do like this little thing. Just quickly pick you up for a second. Oh. So there, you can see it just all blowing all the crap about. All the water's getting kicked up, I'll just quickly try not to drop my phone in the water. There, that's after I just nudged it down a little bit so it's actually underwater now. It's still making quite a lot of, it's still agitating the water quite a lot. And this is actually with my uh, volcano and my normal filter. But yeah, really, really solid little filter, this thing is. Now, I'm going to move on to a bigger filter. Yeah, not sure if you saw it when I was just moving around, but look. The, what, the new gecko tank. Ooh, the future. <laughs> Alright, moving right along. So now, as I just go and turn off my computer screen so it doesn't reflect. 
There we go. Much better. Now, I'll, I'll get some pictures of this doll shop. It's not one that I personally have. It's one that a friend of mine has. So this filter, it's 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 very very good. It's a very very good 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 filter. Like I said, it's got a very in the Amazon description it has a very very long name. I'm not even gonna bother trying to read it out. So yeah, just just I'll just put it on the screen just so you don't have to look at it. But in fact, there yeah, I've got a better idea. As I nearly knocked my glass over. There. There, that's its name on the Amazon. The ex exhalation. I'm actually trying to read this off there, stupid. The whatever that says, premium aquarium, new V filter, high powered stir. Sterilization for fish tanks. Effective filtration zaps green algae and water parasites, including white spot egg parasite. That's actually a really good feature of this fil of this filter. For from your aquarium includes free established fil filter, rapid mut whatever that says, and I can't read for shit. And addictive, addictive, exclusive seven watt UV filter. Yeah, that's what it does. It's a very, very, very good filter. Like when I get a big tank, that's probably what I'm gonna get if I don't get a, if I do get an internal filter. Just an absolute monster filter that one is, as you can tell. So yeah, I like there's not much I can do because I don't have to. I don't actually have this. I don't. I can't really go over the facts of it as well. So like I can't do a proper review of it right now until I eventually do manage to get one but I just wanted to add this in just as a little extra in case you have a massive tank then just I'd, I'd say get this filter like I said I've seen my mate have it it's a it seems like a really really good filter and my angel fish is bullying my other angel fish like an asshole again bit off topic uh, but anyway yeah like I recommend the stingray filter first like for a starting out tank, it's a really, really good filter if you didn't get one with your aquarium when you bought your aquarium. If you've seen my first video, that won't be a problem, but you know, just in case. So yeah, now that wraps up my review of those two filters, well, a review of one filter and a recommendation, and then just a recommendation of a second filter. So guys, yeah, I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. Anything to say about the video, just put it in the comments. And yeah, in about, you're going to see this tank for about two more videos, so that's something to look forward to in the future. Alright, I'll see you all later.